Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Muhammad Amin. Today I am here to solve the already asked question in the Scaltech scholarship test. The question is from linear algebra. Let A, B and C are square invertible matrices of same size. Then simplify the expression A power minus 3 B inverse C whole inverse A power minus 2 C B A whole inverse. So what will be the possible answer for this expression? We already solved this one. Here two concept of matrices and determinant are used. So if two matrices are multiplied in the whole inverse of it. So if they are invertible matrices we can write as A inverse and B inverse. And also if a matrix is multiplied with its inverse. So it gives us identity matrix. From here if the inverse is applied upon this parenthesis it gives us a power minus 3 whole power minus 1 it gives us a power 3 also b inverse whole inverse and it becomes c power minus 1 and c inverse a power minus 2 as it is also the uh, inverse applied upon this parenthesis it gives us c power minus 1 b power minus 1 and c power minus 1 means c inverse b inverse and a inverse by combining the the same matrices and its inverses we we can write as a a power cube and a power minus 2 also this uh, if a matrix is there uh, along with its inverse by applying a inverse again it gives us the same matrix as it is so from here b inverse whole inverse it gives us b matrix and the c inverse is here and one c inverse is here so it becomes c inverse c inverse c inverse power 2 and again the b inverse here as it is and a inverse is again as it is by combining the inverses and their matrices so a power minus 3 a power minus 2 and a power minus 1 also b power 1 and b power minus 1 and it gives us c power minus 2 I can write this expression in the form of a power 3 and also a power minus 3. From here, this property is used. A matrix is multiplied with its inverse and gives us identity matrix. And C inverse is square is as it is. So if the inverse is, uh, if an identity matrix is multiplied with a matrix, means I into A, then it gives us the A matrix. So if the inverse the identity matrix here is multiplied with this matrix, it gives us the same matrix as it is. Okay, here I can also I also write it, it is identity. So again it's multiplied with this. Gives us C power minus 2. From here I can write as A into A inverse whole power 3. And A into A inverse gives us identity matrix. Identity matrix power n gives us identity matrix so from here it gives us identity matrix power 3 gives us identity matrix into c power minus 2 and the final answer for this expression is c power minus 2 and it matches with the f point of the option so this was the question from linear algebra thank you for watching allah